Good morning everybody and welcome to a brand new video if you're new here hello my name is Lisa and if you are returning then thank you so much for coming back I have got a hire car at the moment because my vehicle is going in on Tuesday to be repaired and apparently we're allowed 48 hour leeway either side so yeah, I got it last night and I thought I'd take advantage of just driving somewhere without putting miles on my car. So I've actually come to Swindon today, which is probably about 45 minutes from where I live, maybe a little bit more. And I've come to a Neptune outlet. I have been here once before and I thought we would have a look inside together. And then my plan is after that is to go to Swindon Outlet. I'd like to have a little look around. Not really anything in particular that I'm looking for, apart from perhaps maybe a pair of trainers. I've been after a pair of New Balance trainers for ages and yeah, I'm not sure yet. And I don't know whether they've got a New Balance store there, but I thought I would bring you along for the day to have a look around. And obviously at the end of this video, if I've purchased anything from Neptune or the outlet, I will share it with you. I'll just show you the outside of the Neptune outlet. It's so, so beautiful. Some lovely olive trees outside, it's just so beautiful doesn't really look like much there is a big Neptune warehouse in there but I don't know why I didn't even ask but I heard some ladies say it's shut today so I don't know why that is shut let's go inside I'll show you a little bit around the store and then yeah we're going to spend a night there so casually keep diving into concrete so bittersweet huh? Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat What's left of me? Drowning in my fears is like an ocean Negativity is getting closer How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying Sometimes all you need is a spark Maybe just a better kind of bitter Good morning everybody. It is the day after what ended up being a really, really, really lovely day out. I really enjoyed myself. Still sound absolutely full of cold. Anyway, I had my hair done literally just before my holiday and can you see literally white? And it's only like the hairdresser said, it's nothing at the back of my head. It's just the parting and then like round here but what I find is it gives this halo of making it look like I don't have much hair so I'm gonna do my roots I thought we'd turn this into a little bit of a like a weekend vlog I thought we would do roots together show you what I use and then I'm gonna dry it and style it and I thought I would show you how I do that I did have a question of how I get volume in my hair I did mention a while ago on my channel that I bought this hairdryer brush thing. It is just literally amazing. So I'll show you all of that, but um, I'll probably speed a lot of it up because otherwise it'd be boring. And then I'm going for breakfast with my husband. And then I think come back and I will show you what I bought because I bought some really lovely things. You know, one of those days where you think, I don't need to buy anything. I end up buying loads, which wasn't intentional at all. But sometimes that's the nice days when you find lots of things that you like. So I'll share that with you also later. This is my goodie bag full of professional colours that I've built up over time. There's loads and there's also more in my wardrobe too. So I think today I'm going to go for 
red can and I'm going to do mainly six and then add a dash of five and then I use 10 volt developer which you can use any 10 volt you don't need to use red can I'm only doing literally my hairline and probably the back of my neck today. I'm going to tie my hair up quite tight so all the flyaways are out the way so I can literally just colour the front. Okay, so using both of these equal amounts of this two pot wide and I don't have a measuring jug so I'm going to use this and I only need the tiniest amount because I'm not doing a lot just a dash of the five. Now when I was at college I was taught that if you add a dash of your base colour it's meant to colour grey better. I literally mixed up the tiniest of amounts. And do this so that you can see but I need the mirror. <laughs> start doing it is getting a build up of dark on my roots like I had before so I'm going to try and go as long as possible throughout my actual parting um, and at the moment you can't really see any and because I'm blonde there or I've had blonde put in it's not as noticeable so that is literally why I'm just doing this hairline bit today which makes me look like a bit of a, a freaky nutter but it's got to be done oh it doesn't have to be done but I don't want to be grey and it's the my hair is the one part of my body that I'm not prepared to go grey certainly not at 46 nearly 47 I mean I'm not that bad my friend is the same age as me and her roots are completely white so I am really 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 lucky but I just don't like the feeling around my hairline as if I've got like no hair which I feel that's the appearance it gives when the greys come through because obviously it just looks so light I'm just going to try and take off some of this from my hairline. A top tip for removing colour, you might already know this, you might not, but colour removes colour. So when you go to remove this colour, nine times out of ten you can massage the colour into the colour and it should remove it. I mean, it doesn't always remove everything, but it's better than nothing. Right, I'm just going to read the instructions because it says these are 10 minute colour gels but 
normally when you're covering grey that can alter a little bit so what does it actually say i don't know why it says that process at room temperature for 30 minutes so i don't really know why it says that anyway i feel happier being on 30 minutes because there's a better chance of covering the greys what i'll do is i'm gonna let this process for 30 minutes and then i will come back to you when i've rinsed it all off and I'll show you what tool I use to dry my hair and how I dry it. Right, this is the tool that I bought probably a couple of months ago that I've been using every time I wash my hair and I absolutely love it. It's essentially a hairdryer with a brush. And before I started using this, I had really, really flat hair stuck to my head and this creates so much volume and makes it so easy to get volume in your hair but i'll show you now how i use it i'll put you on a little bit of a time lapse i see it in your eyes yeah i can read the signs you need to get away it's time we make a change oh you know you'll always have me So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Right, hair is all done I think the reason why I like my hair colour now as to opposed to when as opposed to when I had it done originally I just felt it was too dark and yeah now i really really love the color i would like to see it a little bit finer on here i did ask for really baby lights and it is sort of a little heavier in areas but yeah um i just thought i would sorry i'm out of breath i've just been down the garden and um i've just come running back up the stairs stupidly and now i'm out of breath and since I've had this cold, so I've got, I get mild asthma and the only time my asthma is really affected is when I get a cold. So yeah, I've been kind of a bit like this recently anyway, really like struggling for breath. But I just thought I would share some products with you that I've been using on my hair lately. Well, only the last week actually, and I'm absolutely loving them. So I've seen a YouTuber that I watch regularly use these products for a very, very, very long time. I don't know why I've never ever given it a go before, but when I was on holiday, I just thought, right, I'm just gonna order some. And oh my gosh, these products are amazing. So a little bit of background, if you don't already know, I was a hairdresser a very long time ago. I stopped properly hairdressing when I was, I don't know, about. 19 18 19 so i didn't do it for that long but i do have like some knowledge and you know i can i've got a salon services card so i've got access to professional products which is all i ever use on my hair and i know a good product as to a bad product so these products are just amazing and i'm not just saying that obviously i've got my background i do know what is a good product and i'm loving them so when i went on the website the larger ones of these were actually out of stock and i think they're on offer or not on offer i think there's like a a deal where you can buy two for 20 pounds and these are only 180 mils but the other ones i think are 500 ml bottles but like i said the last time i checked they were out of stock and when i purchased these they were out of stock so i thought i would just get these to begin with see what they're like i love them my hair feels so healthy and silky and glossy love them so i got a shampoo and conditioner I also got a hydrating argan oil hair mask. I used this today. Love it. And then I've also got the Shine Spray hair perfume. Now this is a, a very much a little goes a long way. And definitely don't put it near your roots. You can also spray this into your hand and then rub it through your hair, which I have been doing as well. Um, 
this isn't sponsored at all oh my gosh i wish it was because i love these products and would love to promote them for the company but i will leave links below so you can obviously get onto the website and if you want to purchase any you can they did also send me a sample of their hair oil which has also got heat protection in it so it was in a little like like little sachet and i didn't want to lose any so i have actually put it in this bottle and this stuff is amazing and it's a really good way of having a serum but also like heat protection as well because i think that's really 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 important when you are styling your hair so i obviously showed you the heated airbrush hair dryer i don't even know what they're actually called actually air styler i'm not sure that one is a revlon there are a few companies that do it i know that farm foods had i think a tony and guy one on offer if you happen to have farm foods near you i will try and leave a link to one below and i just thought i'd show you what curling iron i use as well so this is a babyliss pro it's just a really really fat tongue and yeah i love this thing fatter the barrel the better really because then you kind of get like this wave rather than a curl and i don't like a curl i prefer this kind of dropped out curl and i normally try and do it a little bit curlier to begin with and then it allows it for it to drop out i also spray it with hairspray as well because it just holds it better i'll show you what hairspray i use actually it's one that i really love i originally bought it in a shop and then i've never been able to find it since but i think the last time i purchased it off amazon so if i can find it on amazon i will link that as well but i'll just show you what that is so i think i originally maybe bought this off home bargains i don't know but it's this is coconut miracle oil flexible hold hairspray and this is the one i use which as you can see i'm right near the end i think the last time i purchased this was off amazon and i got two for a specific price so if i can i will try and link this below as well we will go downstairs now and i will show you what i bought yesterday it's quite a lot right let's get into the halls probably the bit that you've been waiting for the most so i got quite a bit it was one of those days where i thought i wasn't really looking for anything in particular didn't really need anything and i don't know about you I kind of feel this happens to everybody when you've got you know money say birthday money or something and you go looking for something can't find anything when you're not particularly looking or in my early days when i didn't have any money um i saw everything yesterday i had no expectations didn't really go for much i think i said that i was looking for maybe some new balance trainers i did try a pair on but yeah i didn't really see that much in there not i think maybe if i'd had my husband with me for his opinion i maybe would have bought some so before obviously i went to the outlet i went to neptune home and i did pick up quite a few bits and this is so sad but it's the best part is that you get a free shopping bag she actually gave me two now i did go in for the cream one which is the it's like cream off white but they didn't have any deliveries of it yet and i was absolutely gutted but i think this was last year's spring color she said so I got quite a large bag and then she gave me a smaller one as well, which, yeah, chuffed with. So Neptune Home. Oh my gosh. It's just so lush, but so expensive. So, well, I say so expensive. The bits I bought, I didn't think were too bad. But some of the things, it's like, whoa. 
expensive. I think I found um, a really lovely dark green linen table runner and this was like obviously outlet prices. It was like, I think it was £65 loads. Anyway, what I picked up wasn't mega expensive. I don't think so. So the first thing I picked up were these plates. Now we do already have a plate set, but we do get through things quite quickly in our house and the dishwasher is on quite a lot. So I picked up these plates to begin with, which is just plain white plates, but they look like they're handmade. There's a bit of distress into them and they're not completely perfect. These were originally eight pounds and they were outlet price for four pounds. So I picked up four of these and yeah, I just think they're really lovely plain white plates and kind of go in addition to the ones that we already own. And then I picked up this mug. Now I'm sure, I'm sure I saw Freya Farrington have this mug in her hand. And I remember when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that mug is lush. And then I found one, so there's only one. Obviously I picked it up. It's very different to my double walls mugs. This is so lush. Look at that. I just love it. It looks old. It looks distressed. It's so stunning. I really, really, really love this. And this was £6 originally. Eight. Which I kind of think for Neptune Home, I mean, £8 a lot for a mug. But I kind of think that I'd have been expecting more because of how expensive they are. But anyway, I was really happy with this and I just love it. It's really old and distressed and yeah, lush. Really lovely mug. So I picked that up. So I got my four plates, I got my mug. And then when I was at the till, I saw these and I had been looking at them before. And then when I was at the till, they had this like display, which I'm not sure if I, if I showed that on the look around, I'm not sure, but they had this giant peg rail and then they had these sort of hanging above the peg rail, which I just loved. So I did decide to pick up one. So lovely. I think this was, I think it was eight pounds a stem. And yeah, this is really beautiful blossom. Really lovely sort of spring colour. And I don't know yet if I, I'm going to try and do the same thing over our peg rail. I mean, our peg rail is nowhere near as impressive as what theirs was. But I'll see. And to be honest, I wouldn't actually mind a larger peg rail, but it'd have to be something that doesn't necessarily come out from the wall too much, which the ones in Neptune didn't. They were beautiful, but I don't think they were for sale. See, I picked that up. I did just get one stem. And then the other thing I bought, which I absolutely love, and I think this is for our bathroom because we do have like some green colours running in it. Now this I think was half price. So I think originally it was 90 and I paid 45 for it. It's this really lovely green frame with just picture of some candles, a reed diffuser, and it's got like a, an old sort of, I suppose maybe chest or wardrobe behind. It is quite distressed, so it has got bits of paint missing. And I'm trying to get not get the reflection in. I just think this is lovely. So yeah, I think that will look really nice on our one wall in the bathroom. And there isn't loads and loads of green in there. So I just think having that pop of green frame on the wall will look really, really nice. So that is everything that I picked up from Neptune Home. But obviously 
it is not the cheapest by any means but it is beautiful stuff it's kind of things i feel that you would buy as like investment pieces really lovely okay so i then went in two jewels and i picked up this skirt tried it on and i thought well i'll give it a go and i actually really really liked it i haven't 100 percent decided whether i'm going to keep it and the reason being is because i want to get i want to try it on with like a white top whereas in store i only have my pink t-shirt on but it's a really lovely ankle length skirt this beautiful print really beautiful and it's got this sheared waistband i originally tried this on in a 12 and i went back and got a 10 because it is super stretchy and i think because i want to like nip in my waist a bit i feel like i've got a bit of control i downsized but they did also do this in a dress and they did it in a top as well but it's really beautiful real cool lightweight cottony feel and yeah i love that print really beautiful that was 32.95 outlet price so i do have an outlet near me so if i do decide to take that i obviously can and then i went to molten brain now i don't go to molten brain very often and I wouldn't say I treat myself to Molten Brain very often, but they had some really good deals on yesterday and I took full advantage. So I'll show you my balls. Now they had these bags, organza bags. We were thinking, oh my god, lady, how many have you bought? So it was two of these big bags, these are all 50 mils inside. It was two for 26 i think or four for 36 so it was an extra 10 pounds for another bag and i can make these up into little hampers as christmas and birthday gifts as well so yeah the main reason why i bought these is my husband has just started a new job he is gonna have time so he's gonna be working away and i just want to make him a little toiletry set so that when he goes away he'll have some really nice toiletries to use and i did look at other sets and this was kind of the cheapest way of doing it and these contain shower gels um shampoo conditioner body lotions so a real mixture and like i said i can also use these for birthday and christmas presents as well so yeah it was two for 26 or four for 36 so it was like a no-brainer i felt so yeah i picked up four of those which is so many products and then with any purchase that day you could also pick up a hand wash for 10 pounds so it was i say a hand wash it was only this one lemon and mandarin so i picked up this for 10 pounds I do like to have a molten brown hand wash in the ensuite. I don't know why, it just feels like a little bit of luxury every time I wash my hands and £10 is a bargain. And then I picked up some more bits for my husband. And I know it's a little bit extra, but he started a new job and I'm proud of him. And I just thought it'd be nice for him to have some nice bits. So there were a few bits by the till that were i don't know between two and three pound fifty i think so i got my little mouthwash that one was three pound fifty and i think these were all two each so i got a hydration which is a little face cream i got him a little shaving cream and then i also got him a hand cream he's obsessed with hand cream so yeah, I've got those few bits and I'm just going to make up a little wash bag with some really nice pieces so that when he goes away, you just feel like he can have a little bit of a splurge. So yeah, and have a sip of my tea. Mm. Good cup of tea. If you don't already have yours, stop this. Go and make one. Feet up. Definitely. Okay. The last thing I purchased 
were some bits from monsoon and the savings were ridiculous so i've been into the swindon outlet a few times and every time they've had this section in monsoon that is just like ridiculous prices these were less than 75 yeah less than 75 percent so i bought a few pieces now i wouldn't wear this on holiday but i thought maybe in the garden this two-piece set which is a little crop top i got that in a size 16 that was three pounds down from 22 so i got that and then i got the pants to match in a size 14 and these were originally 15 pounds they were only a pound mental so quite high-waisted so i got that set and then for my whatever holiday i go on i got a really lovely swimsuit this was 39 pounds down to the bargain price of three <laughs> I love it when I get a massive bargain. There is like no bigger buzz. And this is really, really lovely. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna fit. It might be a bit of a squeeze, but I like to be sucked in anyway. This has got hidden support and it's really, really lovely swimming costume. So it's got a panel underneath and then it's got this mesh in between. It's just plain black and then that's the back looks navy there but no it is black and i picked up two of those because i wasn't sure maybe if my daughter wanted one lost quite a bit of weight recently she looks absolutely amazing and we're probably around about the same size now but she won't mind me saying this her bazookas are humongous compared to mine so i don't know if it fit for that reason and then i picked up another bikini and again i would only wear these at home and i know you might be screaming at the tv why lisa because it's about me feeling comfortable and i've not worn a bikini since my honeymoon and that would be 20 years ago this may and even then i didn't feel particularly happy in it so the bottoms i got in a size 18. now the reason why i got them an 18 is because you can adjust these are tie straps so i can easily take it in and that's the only reason why i got an 18. these i think would definitely fit you can see it's not even been tied in properly so there's definitely a couple of inches to take off there and i think they were fit absolutely fine so yeah they were 15 down to the bargain price of a pound and then i got this top to match in a 14. this was 20 pounds down to a pound a pound oh my god freaking out inside that i found these bargains i'm like impressed with myself i feel like i want to give myself a massive pat on the back for finding these bargains and yeah it's just a little top and it's got the crossover in the middle which isn't um adjustable and padded inserts but not underwired because i don't wear underwired bras what bargains like seriously uh, i can't even believe that i found those bargains to be quite honest and i think that is everything that i picked up yeah but yeah i just had a really lovely trip out by myself i was going to be going out with a friend on saturday because it was her birthday but she had other plans so i decided to go by myself and yeah i really really loved it it was really really lovely having most of the day to myself and just having a girly 
one for one lunch and it was also good because I got to take out the hire car for the day and I felt like I needed a day driving it to feel absolutely fine next week about driving it for work. It is a bit of a beast but I have got used to it and it's okay but I wouldn't give up my Tesla for anything. Like seriously, I absolutely love my Tesla so, so much. I'm actually thinking, well not thinking, I am going to do it. It probably doesn't fit in with most of my videos on this channel, but I feel I want to make a video about purchasing my Tesla. And the main reason for doing that is because when we purchased our car, or before we purchased, I spent weeks and weeks and weeks researching. I couldn't find one piece of information anywhere that equated into monetary value how much it actually costs to run that car i found what it costs in kilowatt hours per you know pence per kilowatt hours which doesn't really mean a lot to a lot of people so yeah i'm going to do a video on my car and I thought while I had that higher car which is also electric I thought I'd do a really good comparison between the two as well and expressing why I love my Tesla so much and what the Tesla has above a £70,000 higher car which I think is the value is crazy I would never pay that for that car and I really do not think it's worth it. So yeah, something a little bit different to what I normally put on my channel, but I feel that it could benefit quite a lot of people who, not even necessarily people that already watch my channel, but other people that are considering buying an electric car and or especially a Tesla. But anyway, I really hope you have enjoyed spending the day with me and seeing how I do my hair. Look, no grays, it's all gone, thank God. Yeah, and just seeing how I style my hair, products I'm loving at the moment, and just hope you've enjoyed spending the last two days with me. But yeah, take care everyone, and I will see you really soon in the next video. Bye. How do we end up here in the corner, looking like enemies? We used to be the team people talk about, what a chemistry. I can see it in